Hello, I am Sanjeev Anigol, working as a senior software engineer in YWAL Labs. I will be giving a presentation about our tool called DDGen, Device Driver Generator. So, Device Driver Generator, DDGen, takes two input files, DPSL, Device Programming Sequence Language, and RTSL, Runtime Specification Language. So using these two files, we will be taking as an input to our division file and we will generate our device drivers. Based on the RTSL, we will generate drivers many times. Only DPSL will be written one time and for different OS, we will be uh, writing different RTSL files. So let me introduce about the DPSL and RTSL. Okay, before that, I will be uh, telling why this is the T engine board. Um, here uh, we have uh, developed the application which will uh, sense the temperature of the processor and we are using a device called ASP analog signal processor so which will convert analog uh, temperature into digital and using 7 segment display driver we are displaying the temperature of the processor this processor will use uh, T kernel OS and this is the ARM 920MX1 processor so let me explain our two input files this is the DPSL so DPSL will contain information about the device, De uh, information about the device, device, like, uh, device will contain registers, programming sequence and if the device supports interrupts, in, uh, interrupt details. So in this ASP device, this is the device pack where we will capture information about the device. and this is the uh, registers where we will capture information about the register this is the bus spec where we will capture information about the different interconnect device supports in this device ASP device the, dev the interconnect supported are memory mapped and IO mapped if the device supports interrupts, you will be capturing that in an interrupt spec. This is the init spec where we will capture information about the initialization. When the device will be initialized, uh, that information we will be capturing here. This is the feature where we will feature spec where we will capture information about the programming sequence so this is one programming sequence which will enable the device these are the different programming sequences the device supports next we will move to RTSL in RTSL we will capture all runtime requirements like OS here we will capture OS information. In this case, it is a T kernel. In device spec, we will capture information about the device. In the processor spec, we will capture information about the processor. And in ISR spec, we will capture information about the ISR. In the bus spec, we will capture about the interconnects. In DPSL, we will capture all the interconnects which device supports but the software guy needs to select only one interconnect by uh, for which he will be generating the driver this is the compiler spec where we will capture which compiler he will be using this is the code gen spec this is used to standardize the code this is the error handling spec where uh, some error occurs, what kind of error handling we should do, all information we will capture in this spec. This is the buffer spec where we will capture 
how the buffer management should be done, what type of buffer we should use. Next, we will move to our tool. This is our tool called Derision IC. This is the DPSL file and this is the RTSL file. So, when we will press enter, that will display uh, information about the device. Device support interrupts and device supports IO mapped and memory mapped interconnects. Next, we have provided a feature using which a driver uh, device driver guy can enable or disable the features which he don't want and also he can change the names. This is the file which will display all the features that device supports. If he do, uh, if the software guy don't want any feature so he needs to give here zero. Suppose he wants to change the name of the feature then just he needs to give here name then save the file go to the tool and here it will support uh, it will display all the uh, features which which are going to be implemented we have supported uh, we have provided one more f uh, feature which uh, using which he can enable and disable the interrupts in the initialization time. These all interrupts the device supports. If he don't want any interrupts to be enabled uh, in the initialization time, so he needs to disable by putting here zero. So we will generate the driver. Next we will see the driver code. This is the main .c file where all the C code is there. So these all are different features. This is the ISR code. Next we will move to the different header files. This is the application header file. This is the enum header file where we will have all the enums defined. This is the macros uh, .h where we will be having different macros. This is the OS wrapper where we will uh, have the information about the each OS. Depend on each OS, this OS wrapper will change. This is the protos .h where we will be having different function prototypes. This is the wireedge .h where we will be having um, register access definition for each register. This is the tracelog .h. This uh, will be used by the driver uh, device driver guide to uh, for debugging purpose. This is the white tap def where different structures are type deft okay so this is these are are the this is the main driver and these all are the supporting header files for the particular driver okay this is the information i wanted to give about our tool thank you very much